Hey everyone, welcome back. This week on Johnny Builds, I made a coffee table with hidden wireless charging that converts to an ottoman. I started by breaking down these 5x5 sheets of Baltic birch plywood to 30x30 30 30 inch panels so they would fit on my X-Carve CNC router. Now I know some folks may think you need an engineering degree to use a CNC router, but I urge you to stick around. This is my first CNC project, and if I can learn to use this machine, I think almost anyone can. With the plywood all broken down, let me explain my design process. I use SketchUp because I already know this program. You can use something like Fusion 360, and I plan on diving deeper into that later, but for now, I know SketchUp. This coffee table is made up from only five shapes, and four of these pieces are the main structure, and then the middle support pieces that go around are all the same. In order to turn this SketchUp drawing into something I could cut on the X-Carve, I used a free SketchUp extension called Faces SVG to lay out all the SVG profiles. I saved these as a .svg file and then imported them into Inventable's free software, Easel. I laid out the pieces in Easel to fit on my 30x30 30 30 panels. I put all four main structure pieces on one panel and then duplicated it. I was able to fit the remaining eight middle supports on another panel and then using an eighth inch straight bit I started carving. Now I could just sit back and let the machine do its thing. And my cars went pretty smooth, minus a few issues with setting the right material thickness. This led to the bit cutting through the tabs on those circles, which popped out several times, and I ended up snapping a few bits. And a big shout out to my pal Chris from Mortgage and Miter for giving me some tips and helping me along the way. Thanks, man. The X-Carve leaves these little tabs to hold the material together and I cut them away with a razor. What's left behind was easily sanded away on my oscillating sander. I carved out the remaining eight pieces that make up the middle supports and then sanded away all the tabs. The coffee table is made from these pieces being laminated to twice the thickness and I use this Gorilla Glue that doesn't leave the super yellow squeeze out when it dries. And to get the alignment correct I use this cut off from a 1 inch dowel while I clamp the workpiece together. And once it was clamped up I removed the dowel so I didn't glue it in place permanently. Then it was back to the spindle sander to clean up the edges and the insides of the circles. Now it was time for assembly, and I will say that you should definitely label all your pieces to keep everything organized. Starting with the lower sections, I glued the half lap joint in place and added a clamp while the glue dries. After giving those pieces some time to set up, I started gluing up the middle supports one layer at a time. I also gave these a bit of time to set up before adding the second layer of middle supports. Now for the upper pieces, I put the first one on and glued it in place. The coffee table was loosely held together, but these top pieces help pull everything into alignment and really lock them in place. I added a few more clamps and then a ratchet strap around the middle section to pull it in tightly and then I can move on to making the cushion. Number five is alive. I cut out the cushion support on the X-Carb and then chamfered the edges and I had a little bit of help from my daughter. What you see here is her maiden voyage using a router and I think she did great. And here I'll quickly show you how to make the cushion, but if you want more in-depth information, go check out that reading nook I built. I used the same method. Next, I cut out a pocket for the wireless charger to fit on the underside of the coffee table. I gave the top a few coats of spray paint and then installed the charger with some hot glue into that channel on the underside. I used the holes to route the cord through for some cable management. I tested out the wireless charging and it worked great. Last I added a couple coats of wipe on poly for the finish and this project was done.
Hey guys, thanks for checking this one out. This was my first full CNC project and I learned a lot in the process. In a very short amount of time, I went from knowing nothing about a CNC to assembling my own machine by myself, learning the easel software, learning how to design a project in SketchUp, and then taking those files and exporting them as SVG files, taking those SVG files, pulling them back into SketchUp, running the machine, and everything else that's involved. And trust me, if I can do all that, then so can you. Now, I did have a couple hiccups along the way, uh, figuring out the feed rates, breaking some bits, and I even snapped a belt. And my buddy Chris over at Mortgage and Minder, he was a big resource and a help. So shout out Chris, and there's a link to his channel down below. Make sure you check him out. Now, if you're at all interested in working with the CNC, I highly recommend you to download the free easel software. There's a link down below. Get in there and design some projects before you actually get your own machine and learn how to use it and then you can make that decision of whether or not you're going to get your own machine or find a local makerspace even and you can build your project there. So what did you guys think about this coffee table slash ottoman with hidden wireless charging? Let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you liked it make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I've got several more projects that are almost complete so make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with that and if you want to see behind the scenes stuff follow me on Instagram at John Builds. Again, thanks for checking this one out and we'll see you back here next time.